Hey, welcome back. I made it to the second video this week. Today is Friday, January 5th. I think this video will go up probably Saturday. Like I said, I wanted to make two videos a week and the second video I wanted to make was a flashback Friday where I dig into my archives, look for pictures that I totally forgot about, bring them back to the light of day and just talk about the story behind it. Maybe it was an image that spoke to me or something that was very memorable, just had some sort of impact on my, my thought process. And even for pictures that we do edit, upload and, and publish, um, we still forget about it five years later, you know? So as I was organizing my hard drives the last couple weeks, I got sidetracked when I got into some of the folders and I'm like looking through the pictures instead of trying to organize. Good nostalgia moments there. So I have two bachelor's degrees. The first one from Maryland where I dragged kicking and screaming through every class. It was just a difficult period in my life. So afterwards, I was lucky enough to be able to attend Brooks Institute in Santa Barbara, California. My dream school. I mean, when I was looking through the catalog of classes, I wanted to take every single class. I was that hungry for photography, that hungry to learn and to go to one of the best photo schools. I'm so glad I was able to go through it. Unfortunately, they closed down a couple years ago due to, yeah, some unfortunate circumstances. <laughs> But the program was top notch, even when I went, uh, which was kind of toward the later end of, of the school. The teachers were amazing. The, the assignments were so challenging. So for the first flashback image, I wanted to talk about this picture right here. This picture was from my first photo assignment in Photo 101 with Chris Broughton, and it was titled A Day in the Life. Since most of us were new to Santa Barbara, uh, it was a great way to go out and get to know the city. Santa Barbara is a quaint little city on the central coast of California. It's just north or west of LA. It's commonly called the American Riviera. Uh, it's, it's just a beautiful place to, to be, to visit, to live. So for the assignment, I had this idea to uh, do a panning shot with my bike. Around the time, I think car rig shots were getting really popular. So here's the setup shot. I taped up my Manfrotto 458B Neotech tripod with duct tape. I had a, I think it was a 5D with a 17 to 40 lens and had a pretty small aperture so that I could drag the shutter a little bit and get the little nice blurred shot. And I triggered it with a pocket wizard um, and I, I was hiding the, the trigger with my right hand. I tested it out and then the next day I went out during peak sunset, beautiful light, and I just went out toward the beach and just shot and it was just beautiful. It, I was surprised at how well it turned out except for my friend who commented, I didn't know you had such hairy legs. But anyway, outside of my hairy legs, uh, the shot turned out beautifully. Um, I, was, I was really happy with it. <music> This picture, it, it just reminds me of that special time I was able to live in Santa Barbara for a couple years. Life was just so simple, peaceful. The weather was perfect, the beach. I never lived in a place where palm trees were just normal. And there's something about palm tree locations. The grass is just perfect. I don't know what it is, but yeah, every time I see a palm tree, there's always like a perfect patch of grass. I love it. So on that note, if you're interested in hearing more about my experience at Brooks Institute, hit that subscribe button and turn on the alert button, that little bell on the bottom corner. But yeah, until next time, peace.